name is Joshua Pierce, and I'm the co-founder and co-editor-in-chief of HardwareX. And I'm Todd Dunco, a co-editor-in-chief of HardwareX. Currently, I'm a postdoc at ETH Zurich in Switzerland, developing new microfluidic tools for analytical chemistry. In doing your experiments, scientists throughout most of history really only had two choices. One was to buy a black box design product that you don't necessarily know what it does to do your scientific research, and the other one is to build one from scratch. The problem with buying proprietary hardware is you don't know exactly how it works, you don't have complete control over it, and it's also extremely expensive. Uh, scientists don't make up a large fraction of the population, so we don't have a lot of mass-produced items that we use in science, and so we end up paying for it. Uh, the other option, which would be to build something from yourself from scratch, is extremely time-consuming uh, and often difficult, and often scientists didn't have the particular skills they needed in order to make equipment for themselves. There is an alternative way. Using detailed open source designs and digital manufacturing techniques to directly create the science infrastructure we need, ranging from sophisticated instrumentation to low cost versions of standard lab tools, open source hardware can have an impact at every level of research. For this reason, I co-founded HardwareX, an open access journal dedicated to the dissemination of well-documented and open source science hardware. What HardwareX does is validates the design of scientists and engineers through peer review. It's articles that provide all of the source code to develop a scientific tool, the hardware schematics, the CAD files, the electronic design files, the software and the firmware, everything that you need to make a complete replication of a scientific tool are available on HardwareX and tested through peer review so that you can trust that if you download the files and replicate what is provided there, you'll be able to create the same experiment. The ultimate goal of HardwareX is to support the open source way of disseminating science hardware by providing a central, easy to search, open repository of validated scientific hardware tools. HardwareX provides you with a scientific form for your original hardware designs or customizations you've made to existing ones. All submissions are welcome, whatever your level of expertise. We publish the sophisticated tools developed by scientists who specialize in hardware development and the everyday solutions developed by resourceful researchers, and even science educators developing tools to help teach the next generation of scientists. You may not be the first person to think of the solution, but you can help others by sharing it with them. Whatever the utility of your hardware, we help you ensure it can be discovered and reused, reproduced and built upon by others. By publishing a design in Hardware X, you can expand on your previous method section and make sure your experimental setup can be reproduced connect with different communities, and provide peers with new insights. Help stimulate research somewhere else in the world. Maybe your design will help benefit someone in a lab where money and resources are limited. So one of the main reasons that you want to share your research on HardwareX is that people will be able to replicate the designs that you've provided and start to use it to do their own scientific experiments somewhere else in the world. The reason that benefits you is if they find any tweaks or any improvements, they're obligated to reshare it under an open source license so that you get the benefits of those designs. So this helps expand your research sort of shadow throughout a much larger fraction of the world than you might have otherwise been able to do. And it enables other people that might not have the resources to buy extremely expensive proprietary equipment uh, to make an open source alternative. Another major benefit of publishing your hardware design is that it's an easy way to preserve your work and get credit. HardwareX uses a streamlined submission template. All you have to do is enter the information into the relevant template fields and submit. In addition, publishing a hardware article can help your career. Get credit for all the work you've done in setting up your science infrastructure. Make your work discoverable. All HardwareX articles get a DOI and are indexed in a major indexing service. We provide permanent links between the research and the hardware papers. Direct more people to the research articles you publish using the hardware, and vice versa. Increase exposure to your work. Our readers are based around the globe, and many of our articles have already been downloaded more than 10,000 times. That exposure could help your career, and may lead to new collaborations. HardwareX is multidisciplinary, which means we welcome submissions from all research areas, and HardwareX is open access, so your published article will be immediately and freely available to everyone to download and use under an open source license that you've chosen. We have all seen the news about predatory open access journals, but with Hardware X, you have the knowledge that your submission will be peer reviewed by experts and the reassurance that we are indexed in Scopus, the directory of open access journals, and other important indexes. Content from Hardware X is also available in Engineering Village. 
order to make this easy, HardwareX provides an article template. It's available in several different software packages. Uh, one of them you most certainly will have access to. So if you download the template, follow the instructions, they're detailed. We've also provided a video on the website to make this uh, even easier if you're having any questions. Uh, the idea is if you fill in the template completely, that's the only file that you need to be able to submit in order to have a submitted article in HardwareX. Alongside the template, authors must also make sure that the design files required to rebuild the hardware are uploaded as supplementary materials alongside the paper. Or even better, linked in an open repository, like the Open Science Framework, Zenodo, or Mendeley Data. Then, it's simply a matter of submitting your templated manuscript to HardwareX. The journal homepage contains all the information you need to complete a successful submission, including links to publish articles for inspiration. Feel free to share your hardware submission in a preprint during peer review. It will not adversely affect your chances of acceptance. I believe that this will vastly accelerate the speed with which we develop science for the benefit of all. You never know when your hardware design will be helpful to someone else. We look forward to helping you share it.